that Swansea Harrier probably won't know that Josh Griffiths has qualified for the World Championships. And look at him, he's saying, come on, it's there. You can do it. You can do it. Brilliant. This is so hard. I mean, this every single part of his body is shutting down on him. But what we're seeing also is the camaraderie and the spirit of the marathon. How many of these guys are on for their personal best? They want to break that time, but they're still running by to see if they can help him. Of course, they I don't know if they can actually help him all the way to the line, but they can certainly encourage him. And let's just hope he's okay and there's some help waiting for him when he does get across that line. Well, he's got about 150 meters to go and he can take his time. He'll make it. He's got help there. So David Wyatt being helped towards the line. One of the I guess the sort of things that we get used to seeing at the London Marathon every year, but it never, ever fails to inspire you. He's being held there by Matthew Rees from Swansea Harriers. Well done, Matt, doing a great job. Incredible scenes, just about 175 metres down. Uh, from the finish, and we're here at the finish. I've got Chris Newton and James Cracknell, Olympians who know all about tough finishes, whether it's on a bike or in a boat. And of course, we've got uh, the Royals have joined us there, and you can see Prince William and Prince Harry looking out and just in disbelief at, at what they're seeing there. The camaraderie, which is what the London Marathon Paula said is all about. And Josh Griffith, the top uh, British man home, is a teammate, isn't he? He's a Swansea Harrier, and he'll be proud to see his fellow Swansea Harrier there sacrificing what could be a PB, who knows, as uh, the guys said, to get this Chorlton Harriers, this Chorlton runners over the line. And James, I know you've just run your own fantastic race, but when you see that, that kind of sums up, doesn't it, what this is all about? Yeah, it stands up and also the selfless nature of, of other runners. I, mean, I saw a couple of people in real trouble and I gave them a pat on the bum when I ran past and, and said keep going rather than stop and, and carry them over. So I'm feeling slightly guilty and selfish having uh, watched other people give up their race to help someone who's just emptied their tanks totally.